The death penalty has become an emotional drain on some families victimized by the loss of a loved one. Now, there's a renewed effort to get rid of it in Utah. Past efforts have failed, but this isn't stopping one family. For every crime, there's a story in The Truth Matters. Here's ABC4 Senior Crime and Punishment Correspondent Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. 27 states still impose the death penalty, and Utah is one of those. Some call it inhumane. Others say it acts as a deterrent. Sharon Wright Week says it hurts families more than those on death row. Brenda was only 24 years old. She wasn't very old. Uh, Erica was 15 months when they were murdered. It's 1984, and American Fork police arrive at the home of Alan and Brenda Lafferty. Inside, they find Brenda and her daughter with their throats slashed. My sister and niece were murdered by two men who were uh, family members. They were her, my sister's brother-in-laws in American Fork, Utah in 1984. In 1985, Ron Lafferty gets the death penalty, but there's numerous appeals. His brother, Dan, receives two life sentences and remains in prison. Both are religious fanatics and the cause behind the murders. The man who sat on, on death row for 35 years passed away of natural causes. It was almost a relief when he did. Over time, Brenda Lafferty's family becomes disillusioned. It's emotionally draining waiting for Ron Lafferty's execution. It eclipses everything else in your life. It's such a heavy burden that it, it never leaves. It's just always there for decades. For the past two years, Weeks is on a mission to end the death penalty. But lawmakers thus far refuse. She'll try again in 2022. Even the former prosecutor who helps convict the Lafferty's in the 1980s supports the ban. For decades, you will live with uncertainty. You will live with anxiety. You will live with lack of ability to move on with your life because there'll be no closure. Currently, there's seven inmates on death row. The last to die is Ronnie Lee Gardner, who's executed by a firing squad in 2010. One of those on death row is Michael Archuleta. He murders Gordon Ray Church in the 1980s. Kevin Church, a brother, texts ABC4 saying he's pro-death penalty. It's a bargaining chip for the prosecution. But he prefers life in prison without parole because I would never want to go through this death penalty BS. Brenda's family wants it completely abolished, and she also prefers life without parole. I was 15 when my sister and niece were murdered. I just turned 53. It has literally been my entire adult life. I didn't want it anymore. I did not want it to be part of me, part of my life. The bill has been introduced, but no word on public hearings. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.